Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School and 413 Media Group. And today's another episode of Bayani Talk. Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School and 413 Media Group. And today's another episode of Bayani Talk. But before we start that, wrist check. I'm wearing my Nautis Dive Chrono 500 today. It matches, it has a green and yellow accent to it. I don't know if you can see that. The light, there we go. Uh, green and yellow accent, so it matches my shirt. So that's the watch of the day for me. All right, so today I'd like to talk about hashtag phonies. Okay, so the thing about the great thing about hashtag is that one, you know, it 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 helps people kind of focus their um, their marketing, social media marketing strategy, a lot better. Okay, so if you're in, if you're making stuff that are are, I mean, if, if the video content that you're creating or whatever post that you're creating is about something completely like something completely specific like baking for example then you can use hashtag baking hashtag bakery hashtag uh, pastries whatever if you were creating uh, content that has something to do with I don't know uh, sewing then you know a hashtag sewing hashtag you know uh, create an outfit hashtag so what whatever those are the things that you can create but you know what really kind of irks me is that if you're looking for something specific and you click on a specific hashtag and then you see something completely different okay for example I don't wanna if I'm looking up a hashtag bakery or ha hashtag bake me something nice and then I see something like I don't know underwater basket weaving why is that has to do with one or the other okay what I so I mean and that's the same thing with Filipino martial arts I see a lot of people creating hashtags that has nothing to do with FMA and like for example I'll see hashtag this is Filipino martial arts and I'll see I don't know something that has to do with kung fu now I don't understand why people need to have uh, to cross over to the Filipino martial arts hashtag and even though you're practicing kung fu now kung fu is, is in my opinion a very beautiful martial art but it's not FMA it's not Filipino martial arts now I know there's some other people out there that probably use this kung fu as a hashtag in response to Filipino martial arts. I'm talking to them too. Okay, you need. I don't see why you need to do that. Okay, because it, it creates um, I don't know. It creates a false sense of of this is what FMA looks like. So I mean, now as a Filipino martial artist, I know that that's not FMA. I know that's kung fu, but. What if somebody who's trying to learn about Filipino martial arts and they are in the beginning stages of their studies and they click on that, they click create the hashtag Filipino martial arts and they see Kung Fu. That's Kung Lai, man. Okay. I mean, if, I mean, if they see, if they type in Filipino martial arts, they see Taekwondo. That's a lie because it's not. Okay. I mean, all I'm saying is this, is that if you believe your art is awesome, then use your own hashtag. There's no, there's unlimited amount of hashtags in the world out there, in the universe out there. Why do you got to cross over and use FMA ones? Well, may, I have a theory. Theory is this, is that they want to jump on the court, the, 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 I'm sorry. they want to jump on the, the curtails of the popularity of FMA. And let's face it, folks, Filipino martial arts is getting more and more popular. It might not be the most popular martial arts yet. It might never be the most popular martial arts yet. But it is getting more and more popular. And that's through the efforts of a lot of my brothers and sisters with of, of, of um, Filipino martial arts that they are taking the time to create the content and then post it online and using the right hashtag, just like Filipino martial arts school and just like what 413 Media Group is trying to do. So all I'm just trying to say is this. Be proud of your style. Be proud of your your lineage, okay? Because, I mean, there is something that, there is a hashtag that you can use, by the way, that, that encompasses all of us. It's called the hashtag martial arts or hashtag self-defense. Why do you gotta go over, why do you gotta be kung fu and use Filipino martial arts? Why gotta be, you know, taekwondo and use Filipino martial arts? Why gotta be karate and use Filipino martial arts? Now, for those of my brothers and sisters who are Filipino martial arts, they use this karate and taekwondo and kung fu as their hashtag. Please don't do that because it does go both ways. Okay, and that's just my opinion. All I'm saying is this: you, you, 
you if you believe your art is beautiful if you believe your art is effective then by all means just stand on those two legs be proud of your heritage be proud of where you're coming from and stop using other people hash ha, other other styles hashtag i don't know do you agree do you believe it's in it's not right to use phony hashtags comment down below and by the way if you are looking for a filipino martial arts school and you're in the riverside and in, uh, inland empire area please visit us at www.fmaschool.com and if you want to see more video content please go subscribe to our channel at 413 media group.net and here's our link uh, youtube.com forward slash c forward slash 413 group until then my name is your francis from filipino martial arts school and 413 media group peace out god bless and keep swinging them sticks